Sentry in a, a citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Sentry unit identify. This is car 11 k Please, you've got to call. Don't go to sleep, Bobby. Get me back in close. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down, now! What the hell? What are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at him. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code 4, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units be advised the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Repeat, the suspect is down. Code 4. I need you to take a left at the next corner. Jesus, Phelps, you're terrorizing these poor slugs. Damn it! All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. I've always found the siren useful in situations like this. Right on. Take the next right. Going down without a fight. 
Drop the weapon, hands behind your head. Yeah? Fuck you too! God damn it, get after him. Put your hands in the air! Give it up, LAPD! Don't make me chase you! Sorry, Eleven King. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4, KGPL. Roger, Eleven K. All units, 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4. Repeat, code 4. Calm down! Turn left at the next junction. Jesus, Phelps! All units in the vicinity of any century unit. A 211 has shots fired 410 South Flower Street. Unit that can handle code 3 identify. turn now, haven't they, boys? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. Ain't gonna last long in a tin shack. down there.
the electric chair. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. Keep on going. the next lap. I'm walking. You don't need to turn here. Try the back door. Wait here a second.
Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, he'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for suspected 459 at 142 North Union. wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. 
What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Hey, isn't that the cop who saw the big case in Colorado? Coyotes became a scourge. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so probably preserve it. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hats off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I get even the slightest hope that you're a flight risk, pal. I think the atmosphere's thick in here. Wait till you try the gas. He'll be back in. problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Size 11s.
So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bomber Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <laughs> this doesn't look good for you, Jacob. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched and check for messages. Keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissue 
surface of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in.